Good morning. Welcome to the tutorial of the present continuous. My name is Victor Manuel. I'm a teacher in Boston School. Today I'm going to be presenting about the present continuous. And this is because, if you remember, in these days we are living a pandemic. This means that we have a sickness that is around the different places. Therefore, the classes are going to be given in videos like this. Today's tutorial is about the present continuous. Remember, to talk about the present continuous, we need to see activities that are happening in this moment. For example, we have in here several doorways about people doing activities in this moment. In this case, these boys, they are uh, driving go-karts. She is cooking. They are doing aerobics. Now, this is for affirmative sentences. For negative sentences, for example, they are playing soccer. Is that correct? No. No. In this case, they are not playing soccer. What are they doing? They are eating. They are eating. Very good. In this case, what are they doing? They are playing music. The music. They are playing the piano. Playing the drums. Very good. In this case, for example, she is falling from the horse. Well, she is riding a horse. Tell me, is she sleeping in this moment? No, she isn't. What is she doing? She is teaching. She's teaching a class. Very good. So, these actions, they are happening in this moment. Remember, to talk about the present continuous is to talk about the activities that are happening now, right now, or in this moment. For example, today we are going to be talking with the present continuous. Present continuous in the contingency plan could be 19. So, the first one that we are going to be talking is about the grammar. The grammar that we have for unit 6 is verb to be. Verb to be, if you remember, is am, is, or are. Now, this verb to be, it's about the different pronouns. The pronouns that we have. I, he, she, it, uh, we. Okay. They. Very good. Now, Continuing with this, we have I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Can you repeat after me? I? I am. I am. Very good. I am. In the negative form, we have I am not. Now, for example, he is, repeat. He is. He is not or he isn't. He is not or he isn't. Very good. We have she is or she is not, she isn't, it is, it is not, it isn't. Now, for example, we have we are, repeat. We are. We are not. We are not. Or we aren't. Or we aren't. Very good. Now, can you give me an example with you? You are a teacher. Very good. That is only for simple present. But today we are talking about present continuous. Ah, you are teaching. Excellent. In this case we have a present continuous sentence. You are teaching in this moment. In this case, I am teaching in this moment. Now, with they, they are or they are not. For example, they are paying attention. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Very good. They are paying attention. They are paying attention. Very good. Now, on the next one, we have that it says, present continuous, we have affirmative formula. The affirmative formula, we have subject, verb to be, verb with ing, and the complement. Remember, the subjects we can have I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. But we can also have names. Mar 
Maria, John, we can say my mom, your, your father, the dog, we can say the students, or the family, for example. Those are the subjects. The verb to be, what is the verb to be for I? Am. Um. For he? Is. For we? Are. Excellent. So we have an example. I am walking in the park. I is the subject. Am is the verb to be. Walking is the it's verb to be plus ing. Excellent. And in the part is the complement. Very good. So the next one we have she is cooking pasta. Repeat that for me. She is cooking pasta. Wonderful. We have we are listening to music. Repeat. We are listening to music. Excellent. So listening is the verb listen with ing. Remember it's very important in the present continuous to use it ing. But to talk about the ing form, we have some rules. Let's check some of them. So in this case, we have how to make the German form with verb and ing. It says most of the verbs are ing. For example, we have clean goes to cleaning. Excellent. Sleep goes to sleeping and speak goes to speaking excellent in this case if you can see we have the verb and we have the ing the ing is at the end of the verb now verbs ending in e the vowel e eliminate the letter e and add ing for example we have dance. Dance, the last letter is a vowel E. Dance transforms to dancing. So dance goes to dancing. Very good. We have write goes to writing. And describe goes to describing. Very good. If you check, we are eliminating the E and we are adding ING. Now, the verbs with only one syllable ending in consonant, vowel, and syllable double the last syllable. For example, we have the verb swim. Swim, we have four letters, but the last three letters are W-I-M, consonant, vowel, consonant. In this case, we double the last consonant plus ing. In this case, we have swing. Swing. Swinging with a double m. Run. Running. Running with a double m. Shop. Shopping. With a double t. So remember, it's very important that you check the grammar of the words that you have. The verbs. The verbs are very important. Okay. Now, to continue with, we have questions. In the questions, in the beginning, I was uh, showing you, I was giving you some questions that we have. For example, what is she doing? What is he doing? In this case, we have yes or no questions. Yes or no questions are questions that the answer is only a yes or a no. For example, we have the verb to be subject, the verb with ing, and the complement. We have, am I going to the park? Am is the verb to be. I is the subject. Going is the verb plus ing. Excellent. And to the park is the complement. Okay. So the question, am I going to the park? We have the answer, yes. yes. You are. Excellent. Or no. You are not. You or you are. Could be you are. Aren't. Yes. No, you are not. Or no, you are. not That is correct. Now, we have another question. We have, are you studying 
for your history exam? Are you studying for your history exam? No, I am not. Oh, that's terrible. But maybe you can say yes. If you say yes, you say... Ah, oh, yes, I am. Excellent, very good. Now, is Caroline cleaning her bedroom? Yes, she is. Or negative form? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. You can say no, she isn't or no, she is not. So in this case, it's very important. Remember, these are yes or no questions. The answer is only yes or is no. That's it. No more information. But in other cases, we have questions that can give you extra information. And for that, we have double H questions. In this case, the double H questions, they give you information about when or how or why or information about the place, information about the time. For example, in the formula we have double H words plus the verb to be subject, verb with ing and the complement. The first example, can you help me read? We have uh, Where am I going? And the answer is You are going to the park. Very good. In this case, the question is about a place, where, where, the location. So, if you see, we have extra information. It's not yes or no, it's extra. You're going to the park. Now, the next question is a question with what. It goes, what are you studying? What are you studying? I am studying for my history exam. Excellent, you're studying for your history exam. In this case, we have information about the subject. Can be mathematics, in this case history. We English also have teacher. English, English is very important. You can have English, but remember, also mathematics and Spanish are very important. Now, the next one we have. What is Caroline doing? What is Caroline doing? She's cleaning her bedroom, teacher. Very good. She's cleaning her bedroom. Now, when is she cleaning her bedroom? Yesterday? No. No. Tomorrow? No. Today? Today? Mm -mm. Right now. Right now. Very good. Right now. Now or in this moment. Remember, for the present continuous, we have the time expressions. Now. At the moment. At the moment or in this moment. Right now. Right now. Very good. So, in this moment, we can tell you that present continuous is for the actions that we are doing right now. To continue with, we have describing people. To describe people, we need to follow a pattern. We need to follow a formula, okay? In this case, we talk about physical appearance. Now, to talk about physical appearance, we have different adjectives that we can use. For example, we have age, build, height, the face, nose, mouth, lips, or ears. The age is if you are young, if you are middle age, or if you are old. In this case, the build is how your body is, the complex. If you are well built, strong, if you are plump, maybe a little bit fat, if you are thin, if you are fat, or if you are slim. Now, to talk about height, height is how tall you are. In this case, you can be short, you can be medium height, or you can be like your teacher, you can be tall. Now, the eyes. In the eyes, we have colors. For example, blue eyes, brown eyes, or small eyes. We also have big rounded eyes, oval 
without eyes, or maybe people wear glasses. In the nose, in the nose we have straight nose, we have hooked nose, long nose, small nose, or front of nose. Also, for the face, very important, the face can be round, it can be oval, it can be square, or it can be long. Now, mouth, the mouth can be a large mouth, it can be a small mouth. In the lips, we can have full lips, or we can have curled lips, and even thin lips. And the ears, we can have large ears or small ears. Other features that we have are, in this case, um, the different uh, adjectives that we can use. We have the height, like I was telling you, how tall you are, if you are short, if you are medium height, or if you are tall. The deal, if you are thin and slim, if you are well built, or if you are fat. The hair, the hair can be long, or can be uh, short. The color can be brown or blonde, and the form can be like wavy, curly, or straight. For example, my hair, my hair is black. Black, very good. But is straight, wavy, or curly? I think it is wavy. Wavy, yeah. because if not straight, it goes like a round. Now, the eyes, we have blue eyes, brown eyes, and green eyes. In this case, this is about the color. For example, Teacher, I am thin. Very good, you are thin. Your hair is short or long? Uh, uh, long. Long hair. Are you short, middle, or tall? Uh, middle. Middle. Okay. And your build, are you thin, slim? Teacher, I don't know. Maybe I am fat. Okay. And your eyes, what can you say about the color of your eyes? I have got a blue eye. You have got blue eyes. Okay, now on the next part, we can see examples. We say height, build, hair, and eyes. This is the order that you need to have for the adjectives. We can have height and build with hair and eyes. For example, can you read the sentence? Brian is short and fat with short brown hair and green eyes. Very good. If you can see, we have Brian is short in the height and fat in the build with short brown hair, we have the hair, and green eyes. Now, on the next one, we have a final example. In this case, it's about your teacher. Big door is tall and thin with short black hair and brown eyes. So we say, Victor is tall and thin with short hair and black, uh, short black hair and brown eyes. That is it for today. That is all that we are checking today about present continuous and the physical appearance. Thank you very much for your time. Have an excellent day.